With Acrobat 10 Pro, we have a significantly improved optical character recognition or OCR system and also a class leading export tool for saving PDFRs as Microsoft Office documents. Putting these together, you can see where we're going, Acrobat 10 becomes the ideal application to help you in those darkest of moments when you find your only copy of a vital Word document or a spreadsheet is a printout. Now, converting back from paper to original could never be a totally seamless workflow, as the printout has of course lost some of the electronic structure that makes a table a table, or identifies your header as being in Myriad Pro semi-condensed bold. Acrobat won't be able to accurately identify all your fonts, but it can certainly rebuild the editable text, table cells, and a lot of the formatting, and then by saving your documents into a fully editable file, reapplying your styles is really simple. We can start by scanning our document in directly with Acrobat using Create PDF from Scanner. Acrobat 10 can now automatically determine the color mode of each page and apply the most suitable compression. But if I click Custom Scan, I can also decide if the scanned image will be OCR'd into a searchable document, and if so, what options I wish to run. And I can choose to make a PDF A1B archive file so that the document is ready to be stored long term but I actually have a pre-scanned file in TIFF format. So before I open that, I'll click Edit Preferences and check how Acrobat is going to handle TIFFs. Under Convert to PDF, I'll scroll down and click TIFF and click Edit Settings and I get pretty much the same options as I saw earlier. I can turn on Optimization and OCR and under the settings, I can choose to apply the new adaptive compression, the best possible method based on the colors of the file I can decide if I'm going to de-skew the page to remove any misalignment, if I'm going to remove any background to deal with colored paper, or improve the quality of scans from newspapers or magazines by sharpening and de-screening. I can also apply OCR automatically and choose the type of OCR to apply. I'll stick with searchable image in this case. Click OK, 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 and Acrobat will now remember that. Now it knows what I want to do with TIFFs, I can just open one with Create PDF from File and choose a TIFF. And Acrobat will automatically optimize and OCR the file and produce a searchable image PDF. Now the document we're looking at is still visually an image. If we zoom right in, we can see it's still made out of pixels, but it's searchable too. If I open the Find tool, Command or Control F, and search, for example, for the word grill, then you can see the matches being highlighted. Now we have our PDF file, saving to Excel is really easy. Just click File, Save As, Spreadsheet, and I'll choose Microsoft Excel Workbook, compatible with Office 2007 and 2010. And I'll click Settings and make sure that we're running OCR again. If there's a searchable image PDF, we need to run OCR to find the table. Click OK and save the file. And here's what it looks like in Excel. We don't export cell colors, but as you can see, it's done a great job of finding all the cells. It's formatted our header text. And apart from a couple of places where the decision to center or left justify was too close to call, it's the same table that a moment ago we only had on paper. This last row even has wrapped flowing text. Acrobat 10 understands the difference between line breaks and paragraphs. Of course, we're not limited to tables and Excel files. Here I have some pages from a magazine. Again, this is a scan of a paper original. This time I haven't applied any OCR. It's not even particularly straight. It's simply a series of full page images. I'll simply click File, Save As, Microsoft Word, and choose the Office OpenXML format. Again, under Settings, I'll make sure we're performing OCR. This time we certainly need to, and I'll keep flowing text and include images. Click OK, click Save, and here's the result. Now, we don't of course have exactly the same fonts, but we do have pretty much exactly the same formatting. Acrobat 10 happily has recognized things like paragraphs in columns. And down here on page two, we have a headline that spans multiple columns. All our images have been placed properly along with their captions and Acrobat has adapted the text so that it exactly matches the placements within the PDF original. The last word on page three is lifeblood 
and here it is again in the PDF file. Now we need to tidy up our fonts a bit, but with the help of Acrobat 10 we're very close to a workable copy of a document that not so long ago would have been a lost cause and a long night of typing it all in again. In the process we've also gained an archive copy of the original document which we can make fully searchable too.